In our next few chapters, we're going to be building small projects as exercises for you. In this chapter, I'm going to show you how to create a surface for a stainless steel bathroom sink. Let's exit this sketch. Sketch 1 was opened by default for us in this new document on the XY plane. I want to move it to the XZ plane. Let's right click on Sketch 1 and select Redefine. Now select the XZ plane and then double click the sketch to activate it. It doesn't look like we've created anything in our sketch, but we see in our status bar that we do need two dimensions. Let me grab the origin point. You notice that I'm able to move it. Let's go ahead and delete it. Now let's click Project Geometry. And let's select Center Point from the browser. Now let's create an ellipse. We'll apply some dimensions. Eight and a half inches this way. OK. And the second dimension, let's make six and a quarter inches. Lastly, let me place a point here. That's going to be for the center of the drain pipe. I'm going to offset it from the center point by two inches. Let me apply a vertical relation. And we're ready to exit this sketch, finish sketch. Let's place a grounded point now. Right here. Let's click Redefine. We'll place it 6.5 in the minus Y direction. Here's our point. Let's create a work plane now. I'll offset it by minus 2 inches. OK. Let's place two work points now. Select the plane and the ellipse. And select the plane and the ellipse now from this side. Here are our work points. Let's create a sketch on work plane 1. Project geometry. Let's project these two points. Activate the spline tool. I'm going to create a spline between these two points. Right click create. And a horizontal line. Right click done. Now let's add a fixed constraint and a tangent relation between the spline and this line. And the sketch is fully constrained. Let's exit. One more sketch. I'm going to project this point and this point. Activate the spline tool. I'll create a spline between these two points. Right click create. Let's activate the line tool now and a horizontal line. Right click, done. Let's add a fixed relation between these and a tangent relation between the spline and this line. And we're ready to exit this sketch, finish sketch. Take an isometric view. I'd like to hide work plane one now. Right click, visibility. Let's create a couple more points. Select the YZ plane and the ellipse. And again, the YZ plane and the ellipse on this side. Now let's create a sketch on the YZ plane. Let's take a right view. Project geometry. This point and this point. And let's create a spline between these two points. Right click, create. And a horizontal line. Right click, done. Let's add a fixed constraint as well as a tangent relation. And we're ready to exit this sketch. Finish sketch. We do need one more sketch now. On the YZ plane, project geometry, this point, and work point one. Now let's create a spline between these two points. 
Right click Create. Activate the Line tool. Right click Done. This may seem familiar to you now. Let's add another fixed relation and tangency between, you guessed it, the spline and this line. Now the sketch is fully constrained. Let's exit the sketch and we're ready to create the body of the sink now. We're on the Model tab. Let's activate the Loft command from the Create panel. Go to the Curves tab. Output is surface. Let's select the ellipse. Work point one. Now let's specify the rails. This one, and this one, and last one here. OK. Click OK. Let's create one more work plane. We'll offset it 8 inches in the negative direction. OK. The drain pipe is going to originate from this plane. Let's place the sketch here, project geometry, work point one. Let's create a circle now. Hmm. From this position, it's hard to see where the point's located, but I know it's along the vertical axis. And there it is. Let's apply some dimensions now. Dimension. I'm going to make it one and a quarter inches. 1.25. OK. And our sketch is fully constrained. Let's exit the sketch. Let's activate the extrude command. We'll output as a surface. We'll make a two inch extrusion. OK. Let's create one more work plane now. This one's going to be offset 9 inches in the negative direction. OK. Let's hide Work Plane 2 now. Right click Visibility. Let's create a sketch now. First, I'm going to create two lines. Right click Done. And one more. Right click Done. Let's add a coincident constraint between the midpoints of the lines. Let's apply dimensions now. Dimension. For the longer line, I'll make it 8 inches. And the shorter vertical line will be 4 inches. Now let's project work point 1. Right click. Done. Let's add a coincident relation between this point and this point here. The sketch is fully constrained. Let's project one more point. This point here. Now let's create a spline. The first point, second point, the third point, and the fourth point. And let's close our spline. Right click. Done. Our sketch is fully constrained. Let's finish. Take an isometric view. Let's extrude the sink base now. Activate the extrude command. We'll output as a surface. Select our spline. Extends to next. Terminator will be this surface. Hmm, it looks like there's a problem. Let's click OK and let's find out where this problem comes from. OK, basically, I'm going to need to change the curvature of this rail. If you're not sure which sketch you need to modify, you can just mouse over the sketches in the browser. Aha, there it is, Sketch 4. Let's double click on it. And let's take a right view. You can tell that if I create a vertical line, let's do it. Right click, done. Now let's zoom in a bit. We can see that the spline and the vertical line cross. Let's select and delete. Activate the line tool again. We're going to create a vertical line. Right click, done. And let's add a smooth relation between the spline and the new vertical line. Right click, done. Let's convert this line to construction geometry. We can see that one dimension is still needed. Let's add a fixed constraint and exit the sketch. Inventor recomputes the surface automatically. 
Now the base surface reaches the top edge of the sink. This concludes our tutorial about creating a surface for a stainless steel bathroom sink.